If you are new to this channel please hit subscribe and notification bell for a new video. Increase platelet count, papaya extract as an emerging trend. Blood is the most efficient transporter present in the body and is principally responsible for the supply of important nutrients and oxygen to cells and the removal of waste from the cells. The principal components of blood are, white blood cells WBCs, leukocytes, red blood cells RBCs, erythrocytes, and platelets thrombocytes. Under normal physiological conditions, the count of the blood components are in a specific range and any abnormality in these counts are indicative of an altered physiology. Generally, RBCs are responsible for transportation of oxygen to the cells. Conditions with lower number of RBCs are referred as anemia and are specially characterized by low hemoglobin level. This condition may arise due to several factors including dietary, hereditary e.g. thalassemia, and alcoholism. WBCs are cells of the immune system involved in combating any infection invasion, and defending the body. Their levels often shoot up in cases of various types of infections whereas there is a decrease in some immunosuppressant diseases such as HIV infection. Platelets are irregularly shaped, colorless bodies present in blood. Their sticky surface lets them, along with other substances, provide hemostatus, a physiological process to checkmark the bleeding via formation of blood clots. An increase in the platelet count is referred as thrombocytosis, and results into formation of clots in the blood, which may obstruct the normal blood to any organ while a decrease is referred as thrombocytopenia resulting in excessive bleeding leading to hemorrhages. Normally, a healthy individual has platelet count in the range of 150,000 to 450,000 per microliter of blood. In comparison to thrombosis, thrombocytopenia, low platelet count, is more prevalent and could be due to a decreased platelet production, and increased destruction or side effects from medication, drug toxicities, such as chemotherapy. Thrombocytopenia is often characterized by platelet count less than 50,000 per microliters of blood. Symptoms such as bruising, purpurea in forearms, pinpoint hemorrhages, nosebleeds, and bleeding gums are associated with thrombocytopenia. Typical treatment includes corticosteroids which increase platelet production along with lithium carbonate or folate which increases the bone marrow production of the platelets. In extreme cases, platelet transfusion is the only alternative for life-threatening situations. All treatment options have their cons. Some cons include severe toxicities and immunosuppressant effects of corticosteroids, renal toxicities of lithium and severe patient noncompliance in platelet transfusion. Consideration should be given to alternate therapies to combat low platelet counts such as herbal therapy which is relatively free from the toxic side effects of the allopathic drugs. Herbal medications, an alternative therapy for low blood count. Herbal medicaments have been used for centuries for the treatment of various diseases. Recently, medical research is trying to reach out to understand the exact components in herbs that help with disease healing. As far as blood count is concerned there are a number of herbal treatments which are available and known to be effective. One such common treatment is based on papaya leaf herb. Papaya plant. Papaya plant, biologically known as Carica papaya is grown in most tropical countries. In some regions, it is referred to as the medicine tree or melon of health owing to its high nutritive constituents. Phytochemical studies of papaya reveal very complex biochemical constituents, among which papain, protease, carpain, anthelmintic alkaloid, lycopene, sinagrin, kerosene, glycosides, vitamin A and C are principal components. While papaya fruit is well known for its laxative effect, the leaf is used topically for cuts, rashes, stings, and burns, and as a folk medicine for contraception and abortion due to its ability to induce uterine contractions. Papaya has also been fruitful in curing dengue fever. Recent studies show papaya leaves also has some anti-proliferative effect against cancer cells, in addition to its nephroprotective and antibacterial effects. More importantly, papaya leaves have proven effective for increasing platelet counts. The increase in the blood count by papaya plant is well established in several regions including Australia, South America, Philippines and Africa, and has shown proven results of drastic boosts in platelet count. The principal parts used for therapy are leaves and stem. 
green leaves and stem are washed with water, and crushed to obtain the extract, which is then taken fresh for a couple of weeks until the platelet count normalize. Effects on platelet count is seen anywhere from 2 to 6 weeks of use. Commercial Marketed Preparations Commercially, papaya extract is available in the form of various formulations such as papaya leaf tea, dried and sifted leaves, juices, liquid extract in soft gelatin capsules, and extract powder in capsules. An online store Herbal Papaya provides organic papaya leaf extract, tea and capsule supplements in the United States. Drawbacks of the therapy Papaya leaf can cause severe allergic reactions to people who are sensitive to the herb, and hence the tolerability should be evaluated before starting the therapy. Additionally the latex can cause severe irritation to the skin. When taken excessively, it may cause keratinemia, a clinical condition with yellow pigmentation of the skin associated with increased blood carotene levels due to excessive beta-carotene, vitamin A, excessively high platelet count, and gastric irritation. Papaya seeds also contain benzyl isothiocyanate which is toxic at high doses. Future Prospects Papaya is one of the promising herbs for the development of newer generation medications based on its phytochemical composition. Owing to its potential to help heal a variety of diseases such as low platelet counts, cancers, nephrotoxicities, dengue fever, malaria, skin diseases and bacterial infections, a detailed biochemical analysis helps in identifying the lead molecules that can be used to discover new drugs via molecular modeling techniques. If you like the video please like and share. Thank you for watching.